Hey YouTube family, it's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and I just caught Ben doing something. We got we got a few jobs to do this evening and so I'm going to turn you around and show you what I caught him doing. He's roping the garden plow, the garden tiller. What are you doing? Hey, turn that off. <laughs> turn that off. You practicing? Well. If you can call it that. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you can call it that. I'm, I never was a roper, that's for sure. So we have got a couple jobs to do this afternoon, evening. Um, we have got, we're, we've got to get the meat chicks out of our garage that have been in there. Hey! <laughs> That's how I wrote. We've got a batch of meat chicks that came from Murray McMurray and they have been living in our garage for what, about a month? Stinky. Dang. They stink. And yet, if you've ever been in a chicken house, there's like cobwebs hanging everywhere. Um, I guess that's part of the just ammonia smell that they put off. I don't know what is causing that. I think, but it's, I think it's actually spider webs, but I think it's dust collecting on them spider webs. Yeah, it's, we've had to get cobwebs, spider webs down several times since they've been in there. It stinks and I have milk and egg customers that come and go a lot and it's <laughs> embarrassing. So. Um, we are getting them out of the garage. It's pretty nice weather and I think it's supposed to remain that way. So Lane and Emily put together one of our mobile chicken tractors in our front yard, which is kind of sloped a little bit. So we're hoping that'll be good for them. Um, so here is them putting that together. So we're putting them in the front yard because lessons learned on our farm is do not put them in a place that is liable to hold water when you get a thunderstorm. We have been outside in the middle of a thunderstorm, lightning popping all around, moving 100, I'm 150 chickens. thinking we're about to die <laughs> and there's nothing to be done about it because it's they're drowning but we multiple actually, times. Yeah, we've actually moved them. I know I can think of twice. Once we moved them in the barn, the other time they was all about dead and we moved them into one of my shop buildings that's got a wood heater and we left them in there overnight with the wood heat going and actually revived them only yeah. lost a few that they night. actually looked dead they yeah. were laid over you would have thought they were dead but we took them in there and they just moved just a little bit and they came back from it it was pretty amazing yeah. um, and they weren't even in a low area at that time but spring rains will get meat chickens in a heartbeat if they're not on a sloped ground where it'll run off they were on pretty high ground yeah. but it was just like a flash um, thunderstorm that poured a lot of rain and that got them so we are going with the safe route putting them out there um, so we're fixing to get them moved then we've got a puny acting calf that we need to go that's why ben's practicing roping and if you know me i never was a roper i was a bull rider so i never learned to rope and now i wish i had that skill yeah. not so much all the pains and aches from 
years of bull riding. I think roping would be a whole lot more useful to us, but yeah. whatever. All right, the reason we're wanting to go give this calf probably medication is what we're thinking. We're gonna yeah. take a thermometer with us just to double check and make sure. But two days ago when I was out riding around checking all the cows looking for new calves, I noticed this calf off by itself and I drove up to it and it didn't really, it got up, but it just didn't act normal, what we call normal. Uh, so sometimes that can be a fluke thing and they can just be off napping. So we always try to give it like at least another day because it's usually not dire situation just because they're laying off by themselves. But anyway, I had that in the back of my mind and then yesterday we went and checked the cows again because we're having calves every day. Um, went back there and looked and it was still laid off and acting puny. So I told her, I said, we need to get up and give her, get that one up and give her a shot. But I think we're going to attempt to rope it because it's pretty good little ways back there rather than trying to get everybody back up or separate it out. We don't want to wear it out trying to get it up here. So we're going to try to medicate it in the field. But one thing we got to watch out for is the mom. Yeah. She's not crazy, but... She's, she's very gonna, protective. She's going to be protective of her yes. cat. So. She's a very protective hovering mother. So, let's go get the chickens um, moved and uh, let's get back there. Let's do it. So this is a huge wheelbarrow. And this is all shavings and chicken poo that has come out of there in the last month. So that will be going to a compost pile. That right there is like gold for fertilizing as long as you let it break down well enough. All right, so here they are. I don't know if y'all can see down in there on the bottom. See, that's pretty clean shavings because that's been sitting there. But down in there, it is already nasty again. And I just changed all that yesterday. And these right here are about the size that we about lost due to a rain. Yeah. So you've got a month's worth of feed and everything in them. You don't want to lose them. You're counting. One. <laughs> two. Six. Seven. Fifty-three and fifty-four. Done. D-O-N-E. So what was that, 54 out of 54? Yep, that's what we started with. Started with 54 and still got them. Those are some hardy chickens. Yes. I think she's ready to go get some cows. Oh. No, where are you going? Come back up here. Heel. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. All right, we just came upon what could be really bad situation. We got a mama, she's had a new calf and she is literally on, um, that calf is like two feet from the water um, and it's up on a hill. It could roll down in the water I'm taking really that. easily. That's a lot of brush you see, but it is water right there. Um, we're gonna probably have to drive this mule up to keep the mom back a little bit and just try to pull it back away from that edge into a more safe location. It's brand new, isn't it? Yes, she just had it. It's a brand new calf. She just had it. You can see she's still got afterbirth. I'm going to take my phone and wallet out of the pocket. Lane, you do the same okay. in case we have to bail in after. Okay. Uh, I think we should pull this mule up to kind of block you from her. She don't act mean. Yeah. I don't want the mule to scare it in there. I'm afraid she's gonna get you. Shut up. You worry about the cat. I worry about her. Hey. Now you better get away from her. 
There we go. That is a very good looking bull calf. Sorry about Pepper barking. She's tied to the foiler and she is tore up about this. Got a hold of it. Now he's trying to hold it down. guys we got that done I cannot believe we actually pulled that off Ben was actually able to get a rope around its leg which hey that worked um, and he was able to give it the meds our favorite combo of meds is Batril and Banamine for a calf that almost always results in a new calf by the morning so we're hoping that's gonna be the situation here we are wrapping this up we're about to head back to the house a lot of you have been asking about shindig info the schedule is out uh, it's on our Facebook page. It's on our VW Family Farm and Friends page. It's floating around all over the internet. I think there's been an event page created. Uh, there's all kinds of info out there. We have a video on it. I think Roots and Refuge just put a video out. But the gist is this. There's still tickets available for Saturday. And at this moment, there's actually still tickets available for Friday night for the meal. But you better grab those quickly because we got to shut that down really soon uh, because we got to get a number to the caterer but as of right now you can still get in on that vendor spaces are sold out and have been for a bit there's a lot of cool vendors coming so that is full but be sure and make plans to come shop at those vendors uh, i think you'll be excited i am and i think that's it i will see you guys tomorrow god bless